Clerk will call the roll. Glenn Whitley, County Judge. Here. Boy C. Brooks, Commissioner Precinct 1. Present. Andy H. Wynn, Commissioner Precinct 2. Here. Gary Fickus, Commissioner Precinct 3. Here. J.D. Johnson, Commissioner Precinct 4. Here. Constitutes a quorum. Thank you. Our invocation this morning will be delivered by Father Hasso from All Saints Catholic Church in Fort Worth. Uh, after the invocation, please remain standing for our pledges. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. Let us bow our heads in prayer. We call upon you, O God, for you will answer us. Bend your ear and hear the prayers we make this morning. On behalf of our Commissioner's Court, the general governing body of Tarrant County, Texas, bless the work that we'll accomplish today with vision and abundance of wisdom. Bend your loving heart on them. Guard them as a pupil of your eye. Hide them in the shadow of your wings. And in the spirit and the words of John F. Kennedy, our late president, let us go forth to lead the land we love, asking his blessing and his help, but knowing that here on earth, God's work must truly be our own. May the Lord bless you and keep you close to his heart. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Father, thank you for coming out today. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Mr. Manius, agenda announcements. Thank you, Honor Members of Court. We have two announcements for the court this morning. The first one is on the administrator section, item 9A1. There was a revised court communication submitted. Uh, uh, after we posted on Friday, so it's in the electronic book already, and uh, Commissioner Johnson, we have also replaced that in your book. Also, members of the court, and finally, members of the court, uh, just wanted to remind the court that uh, we are not going to be having a commissioner's court meeting next Tuesday. So our next court meeting will be the second Tuesday in March. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, court members, you have before you the minutes of our regular meeting of February the 21st. Move approval. Second. <clears throat> We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Commissioner Fickus, if you'll. Yeah, sorry. Motion passes unanimously. We have uh, several resolutions and proclamations this morning. The first is uh, for the uh, American Red Cross Month. And uh, I believe Erica Roberts is here to, uh, uh, to accept that proclamation. Come on down, and I'll read that into the record, and then uh, uh, come down and present that to you. Whereas the American Red Cross has touched many lives in the Chisholm Trail chapter area, which includes Tarrant, Johnson, Parker, Hood, and Wise Counties, as well as across the country and around the world, and whereas during the American Red Cross Month, we thank those who contribute to the mission of the Red Cross, whether through time, money, or blood, and we invite others to support the Red Cross in helping people in need down the street, across the country, and around the world. And whereas throughout the past year, the American Red Cross launched hundreds of disaster relief operations in the United States to help people affected by fires, floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes, as well as supporting major international disasters, including the Japan earthquake the tsunami, and tsunami response, while continuing its work on the 2010 uh, Haiti earthquake response and recovery, and whereas in North Texas the Red Cross works tirelessly through its 78 employees and more than 1,400 volunteers to provide support when disaster strikes, when somebody needs life-saving blood or the comfort of a helping hand as well 
as provide 24-hour support to members of the military, veterans, and their families, and whereas our community depends on the American Red Cross, and because it is not a government agency, the Red Cross depends on support from the public to continue its humanitarian work, especially in these challenging economic times. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Commissioner's Court of Tarrant County, do hereby proclaim March 2012 as American Red Cross Month. We encourage all Americans to support this organization and its notable humanitarian mission. In witness whereof, we have heretofore set our hands and caused the seal of Tarrant County to be affixed this 28th day of February 2012, and I'll move its approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> While you're on your way down there, Judge, I'd like to commend Crystal James, my precinct administrator, for serving on the American Red Cross Board. Crystal, thank you for that. Thank you, Crystal. Uh, we'll smile here and see if we can get a good picture. Thank you for your support. Welcome. Okay. Just make any comments you'd like. Oh, uh, actually, I'm, I'm, my name is Sarah Noss, but I'm actually here on behalf of Erica, who is uh, out in D.C., and I just, uh, Your Honor and Commissioners, I'd just like to thank you for your support for the American Red Cross. Thank you. Thank, thank you for being here today. <laughs> Next is resolution for Gail. Gail, come on up here. <laughs> and I'm going to read this resolution of appreciation into the record. Whereas Gail Hamilton has, Hamilton has served as a faithful and dedicated public servant since employment with Tarrant County on October the 1st, 1979, having worked only in voters registration and elections, not having worked, I think that should be not only, first in the tax assessor collector's office since 1985 and on the elections administration department upon the department's creation. And whereas Gail Hamilton has served for 24 years as Assistant Elections Administrator and one year as the Interim Elections Administrator, and whereas Gail has been nationally recognized for her dedication to public service, earning the Certified Election and Registration Administrator Certification from the Election Center and the Auburn University in 1999, and the Chancellor's Certificate in Public Administration from the International Association of Clerks, Recorders, Election officials and treasurers and the University of Missouri at St. Louis in 2006, and whereas Gail has been instrumental in conducting Tarrant County elections for more than 150 <laughs> election dates, I thought they were going to say years there, Gail, <laughs> <laughs> with the highest level of professional standards, integrity, accuracy, and fairness, now therefore be it resolved that we, the Commissioner's Court of Tarrant County, do hereby and on behalf of the citizens of Tarrant County, recognize and acknowledge the many years of commitment to the people of Tarrant County demonstrated by Gail Hamilton. Thank you. I move its approval. Second. 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 Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. We may all just want to go down. Would, would, would yeah. the clerks show yeah. seconds from the oh, entire <laughs> Enjoyed every day. Thank you. Thank you. Gail, we, we do very much appreciate you and everything that you've done for the 33 years that you've been with Tarrant County. Uh, you truly, it's, it's individuals like you that truly make this a great place to, to work and to live and to, to raise a family. And 
we we are in, indebted to you for your for your passion for public service. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't mention Gail is retired today. <laughs> today she's got a, we've got a little tomorrow. 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 Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Say no respect. I just, you know, I, I can't get anything. Uh, Commissioner Brooks, I believe you have a proclamation. I do indeed, and it's in honor of Mr. Gerald Ray, uh, and I will read it into the record. <clears throat> Whereas Gerald Ray, one of Fort Worth and Tarrant County's favorite sons, is being honored during Black History Month for his achievements in juvenile services. And whereas, he received his bachelor's degree from the University of Texas at Arlington in sociology, a master's degree in criminal justice management from Sam Houston State University, and has also earned his child care administrator license and clinical social work license credentials. And whereas, he took a position with the Tarrant County Emergency Shelter where he caught the eye of Lynn Ross, then the Director of Juvenile Services, who encouraged him to apply for a field officer position with Juvenile Services. And whereas, during his 38 years with Tarrant County, he has worked as a field probation officer, a juvenile detention intake officer, assistant de detention superintendent, and then was promoted to detention superintendent in 1990. And whereas he has taught in the criminal justice program at Tarrant County College and works as the juvenile justice alternative educational program assistant director. And whereas Mr. Ray has committed his life to the betterment of the Tarrant County community and has led the way by becoming the first African American to, becoming, to be, be appointed to a senior level management position in juvenile services in Tarrant County and likely in the state of Texas. Now therefore be it resolved that we the Commissioner's Court of Tarrant County do hereby congratulate Gerald Ray for his outstanding achievements and contributions to the community, and be it further resolved that we do hereby proclaim Tuesday, February 28, 2012, as Mr. Gerald Ray Day throughout Tarrant County. In witness whereof, we have hereunto set our hands and caused the seal of Tarrant <coughs> County to be affixed this 28th day of February, 2012, and I move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Would, first of all, would those who have come to honor Mr. Ray please stand? And Gerald, would you meet me at the podium? to say after that from Commissioner Brooks. Uh, I can thoroughly say I've enjoyed this 38 years that I've been with Tarrant County. Uh, I do submit to you that these 38 years couldn't have been possible without my family, without my Tarrant County family, without my uh, Great Commission Baptist Church family. Uh, to you, I thank you. To those who are here today, I thank you. Uh, it is, it was my goal then to come in and work with children. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've enjoyed every minute uh, that I've been here with Tarrant County. So thank each and every one of you. Commissioners, thank you for this honor today. <laughs> 
Mr. Ray, when you, when you started with Tarrant County, did you expect that you'd be here 38 years? I did not expect to be here 38 years, but I do have to say that when I first started uh, with Tarrant County, uh, Lynn Ross, uh, Judge Scott Moore was on the bench then. Uh, those gentlemen inspired me to do the best that I could do, to work extremely hard, to try to get to the next level. Um, you know, Judge Whitley, uh, before uh, you became the, uh, the judge, uh, Judge Vandegrift, uh, I was at UTA in, in 1971. I met Judge Vandegrift uh, when he was mayor of Arlington back then. Uh, had a lot of conversations with him back in 1971. So, you know, I've, I had a lot of inspiration to, to strive to do the best that I could do. I had a lot of uh, positive influences in my life. So, uh, didn't expect it, but I'm so very, very grateful that I was able to maintain and have been able to maintain. And I feel today the same as I did when I first started Energize. So, I'm, I'm good for another few more years. Not <laughs> yeah, eight more, but another few years. Well, I want, to, I want you to be here. I want to be able to recognize you for 40 years of service in a couple of years. And so, you know, I, I talked to so many folks who said they started and they really didn't plan on this being a, a lifetime career. Yes. But that they just fell in love with it yes. and fell in love with the people. Uh, you and I were at UTA at about the same time. Yes, you just sir, had the we good were. sense to get to the county a little bit sooner <laughs> than I got here. And, again, we're very proud of you and very proud of the job that you do. And I know you, uh, you serve your folks and you, you work with the youth and you have a passion for that public service and, and for service. Thank you. And we appreciate very, very much uh, the time that you've given to Tarrant County. Thank you. I'm going to give you a chance to clean this up by letting you introduce your wife. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, now you were about to be in big trouble. No, actually, I, I was going to put a, a, a butt in there and so I could continue on. Go ahead. <laughs> but I do want to introduce my wife. This is Della. Uh, and, and I have uh, several brothers. Uh, here at DG, Cecil is here. I have sisters, Sandra. I have uh, Mary. I have Annette, uh, Reverend Bowman here. Uh, my pastor, Pastor Levi, Brown, Douglas Brown, and Glennis. Uh, and 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 I would be remiss if I did not say that uh, Mr. Medlin and the director of juvenile services, Randy Turner, uh, appreciate uh, the support that you've given me uh, over the years and. Uh, like I say, you guys have been role models to me. So hopefully, what I do is is is, is something that you can appreciate, and uh, hopefully, I'm doing a good job. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Wynn, I believe you have a resolution. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Uh, this morning, we have uh, the honor of welcome, welcoming Ms. Uh, Laura Suarez Henderson. Laura, would you please forward? And Your Honor, would you please read the resolution into record? Whereas Laura Suarez Henderson, an aerospace engineering graduate student at the University of Texas at Arlington, is designing software that will help determine where space debris is and how best to maneuver around it, well, I tell you what, I'm, I'm already in kind of awe. <laughs> I, I just, I, and I've only read the first whereas. <laughs> whereas the information she is gathering also will help scientists calculate how much fuel or propulsion is needed to maneuver around the space trash. And whereas Henderson's, Ms. Henderson's interest in becoming an astronaut was her motivation in getting into aerospace engineering, and whereas she enrolled at UTA in 2006, finished her bachelorate degree or study in 2010 and is now following a four-year fast-track doctoral plan. And whereas Ms. Henderson has received a National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship with a $30,000 annual stipend and up to a $10,500 for college expenses for three years. <clears throat> and whereas she will have access to data at federal labs and government supercomputers 
to work on as well as travel stipends to attend conferences and present papers. And whereas Ms. Henderson's previously earned an Amelia Earnhardt Earhart <coughs> Fellowship, which is awarded to women who have demonstrated superior academic achievement and who are pursuing doctoral degrees in an aerospace-related field, and whereas there is not only a shortage of engineers in the United States, but also few women who have chosen to pursue an engineering degree, and whereas the Tarrant County Commissioner's Court places strong emphasis on academic and personal excellence and wishes to encourage women to enter the engineering field, now therefore be it resolved that we, the Commissioner's Court of Tarrant County, do hereby commend Laura Suarez Henderson for her extraordinary academic ac accomplishments, both locally and nationally. In witness whereof, we've heretofore set our hands and caused the seal of Tarrant County to be affixed this 28th day of February, 2012. And I'm, I move for the, uh, the approval, please. Second. We have a motion to second. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously, and I believe you're going to present her. Yes, sir. And while she's you know, when I, uh, when I first entered college, I was sharing with Laura that uh, my, my father wanted me to major in civil engineering until uh, I took calculus. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized that calculus and I just couldn't get along very well. <laughs> I had a similar experience. I was going to be a mechanical engineer until calculus and physics. <laughs> my guess is she's not had problems in either one of those courses. <laughs> no, no. You know, the future of our economy is based on uh, creative technological innovation. As a result, producing quality engineers is one of the key factors in maintaining a vibrant economy. I'm proud of your uh, achievement. I hope that upon graduation that you will stay in Arlington and Tarrant County. But we know that is that is not possible because we don't have a space program. So she's already she's already she's going someplace where she can go up in the air. So uh, we will be uh, sharing Laura with uh, SpaceX in New Mexico or NASA in Houston. Either way, I hope that you will come back to Tarrant County and to Arlington, not just to visit, but to inspire more young people, and especially women, to pursue a career in engineering. Uh, I'm very proud of, uh, of your achievement. I know you have some special people here with you. Can you please introduce them? Sure. Don't forget to give her the yeah, okay. <laughs> Um My husband and my parents-in-law are here, and uh, some of my lab mates as well. Y'all all stand up. <laughs> Don't be bashful. I would just like to thank you uh, and the Tarrant County, and I would also like to thank my family and my uh, lab mates for helping me get through all these years of schooling, and I really appreciate this. Thank you very much. Congratulations, and we're very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. That's our future, folks. That's our future. That's indeed. Court members, you have before you the consent agenda. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. We have several public hearings this morning. Um, and it looks like they're all <laughs> transportation. <laughs> so come on down. Not as exciting as um, space, I suppose. All right. You no, know, maneuver around that trash. It's a. <laughs> I try to get them around potholes. That's kind of. Uh, that's easy. right. Yeah. yeah. That's difficult enough for me. But you know, Renee is an engineer also. I really. I know, think I'm, I'm a pioneer. I'm... I feel very old when I saw her up here. But yes. <laughs> and I was pulled kicking and screaming by my lab mates through calculus. Through calculus so and. I know why she brought them today. They're important. All right. I'm here today. The first public hearing is to request the plate the placement of a 40 mile per hour speed limit sign on Blue Mound Road in Precinct 3. Precinct 3 staff request that this sign it extends from 156 West to the City of Fort Worth city limit. The county engineer has evaluated this and recommends the installation of the 40 mile an hour speed limit. I'll open the public hearing at this time and ask if there's anyone here wishing to speak to this matter. <laughs> there appearing to be none, I will close the public hearing and ask for uh, 
whatever action you may consider necessary. You want to move no. approval? Yes, move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Commissioner Johnson, you got to keep him. Yeah. All right. Computer's choking him down. Choking me down. <laughs> Next. Our second public hearing today is to consider the placement of no parking signs in <coughs> Katy between Adelbert and State Highway 199 in Precinct 4. We received um, complaints from citizens, and um, Precinct 4 crews are having um, difficulty maintaining this right away. We have um, the adjacent property owner's employees, and I think some of his customers are parking in the right of ways creating a traffic hazard and a, a difficulty for us to maintain this right away. I will open the public hearing at this time and ask if there's anyone here wishing to speak to this matter. There appearing to be none, we'll close the public hearing. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Our third public hearing is the request for the placement of a stop sign on Blue Mound Hilltop Drive at Starlight Drive North in Precinct 1. Precinct 1's um, maintenance crews requested this stop sign on Blue Bonnet Hilltop Drive. Um, the county engineer has evaluated the situation, looked at the <coughs> site, and he does recommend this action due to limited site visibility at the intersection. I'll open the public hearing at this time and ask if there's anyone here wishing to speak to this matter. There being none, I will close the public hearing and ask for any action. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Item D. Okay. And our fourth and final public hearing this morning is a request for the Commissioner's Court to consider revising the Tarrant County construction and maintenance bonds. This request comes at the... Um, um, at the recommendation of the district attorney's office, they've reviewed our construction and maintenance bonds, and they would like to re do some wordsmithing to more clearly define the requirements of the principal, which is the developer, and the county. The revisions do not change the amounts of the bonds. They don't change the length of the maintenance bond. They're simply to clarify that the road, streets, and associated drainage improvements will be um, a part of the bond bonded under these, um, both of the bonds, and that the maintenance bond must be um, for an two-year period, which is what we have right now. Move for approval. Oh, wait a minute. We've got to have a public hearing really first. Fun. I know you're excited about I'm excited. <laughs> no, I'm excited. But we need to open the public hearing first and make oh, sure that there's nobody, there's not a throng of folks who want to come and speak to this issue. Oh, yeah, Judge. <laughs> and so we'll open that public hearing, and since there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of people coming to speak about it, we'll go ahead and close the public hearing and move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Ms. Lamb. It does feel like a Monday. It does. <laughs> <coughs> Your Honor, members of the court, on the administrative section item one, we're requesting that the court approve Amendment 6 to the Tech Share Resource Sharing Addendum for the Common Integrated Justice System Court Management System. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Members of the court, Ms. McMillan is going to do item number two. Last month, the commissioner's court received a presentation that um, updated the, everyone on the uh, status of the downtown TIF and also laid out five projects that required approval by the commissioner's court. Um, Back in 2003, we had signed an amendment to the TIF agreement, and language at that time was inserted in the amendment that required that any um, projects from that date on that would receive funding through our increment or the hospital district's increment should come before commissioner's court for <coughs> approval. The five projects that they have asked for our approval that have been approved since that time are the Pecan Place Condominium Streetscape Utility and Quiet Zone Improvements, Streetscape improvements for uh, Trinity Bluff Phase 1, utility relocation costs for Trinity uh, Bluff Phase 2, professional design services for 3rd Street uh, design services, and then streetscape improvements in front of Oliver's Grocery. The total of these improvements are about $1.8 million. Our funding increment would not change whether, with, depending on either action that is taken. Um, however, our projects would just, funding would just go to other project costs. 
We're asking today, though, for the county to approve the um, hospital district and Tarrant County's TIF increment be included in funding these projects. The resolution you have before you um, does this. Move approval of the resolution. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Ms. Tittle. This morning, we're asking the Commissioner's Court to receive and follow the Tarrant County financial statements for the period ended January 2012. Move approval. Second. second. We have a motion and second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Ms. Glenn. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have several items for the court this morning. The first item, we're asking the court to receive and file the personnel agenda. So move. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> second item, we're asking the court to approve a departmental reorganization and job evaluation committee recommendation for domestic uh, relations. This reorganization, uh, as indicated in your court communique, involves the reclassification of four positions. Uh, there are no salary increases as a result uh, of this reorganization. Uh, as part of this reorganization, the court uh, should be aware that DRO is uh, asking to be able to uh, retain a part-time position. And if approved, the reorganization will be effective February the 29th. Well, this is the one we talked about last week. Yes. I will move its approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes three to two. Our third item, we're asking the court to approve the extension of project employment in the district clerk's office. The district clerk is requesting a one-year extension uh, of a project employee's term. Uh, if approved, this term will end February, I'm sorry, March of uh, 2013. There is an impact to the uh, Records Preservation Fund of approximately $27,000. Move approval. Second. You realize what you just did? What did I just do? You approved something for the district clerk. We yeah, well. <laughs> Even a blind dog can find a bone every now and then. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. And again, one of the things that I would just comment on as we move toward our budget is that I would continue to like for us to look for positions that we could use as light duty or um, for folks mm -hmm. in other departments or whatever to come back and be able to to do some of this and to the extent that I'm assuming that to the extent that if we were to change that in the budget hearing we could do that during the budget time. Yes sir and that is a project that we are currently working on and will uh, certainly bring to you uh, certainly during the budget process process if not before. Okay. Any other discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Our fourth item, uh, we're asking the court to consider an out of uh, class pay extension for the tax office. We have a supervisor in the motor vehicles training area who's assumed responsibilities of one of the associate deputies who's out on family medical leave. Uh, the tax office is requesting this extension through June the 4th. There is an impact to the general fund of approximately $1,600 and that does not include fringe benefits. I move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Our fifth and final item, we're asking <coughs> the court to approve a waiver of terminal benefits for the county judge's office. The executive secretary will be retiring at the end uh, of March, much to the disappointment of many of us. With 400 vacation hours, the judge is requesting a waiver to be effective April 2nd. The impact to the general fund will be almost $12,000. We do uh, anticipate that perhaps we will have some uh, salary savings. We don't know that at this point, uh, but I believe that's a very strong possibility. 
Now, Tina, do I need to do the same thing for my opening? Yes, sir, and we're working with your department. To do that? Now. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is there Move a motion? approval. Second. Is there a motion to second? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Beecham. Good morning. Good morning. We have three items for your consideration this morning. Our first item is a bid award recommendation for bid number 2012-052. It's our annual contract for temporary health care personnel for the public health department. Our recommendation would be to award on a pre enterprise basis, awarding to the, to the primary, secondary, and alternate vendors in sections one, two, and three. One of the requirements of this bid is that is the, uh, the companies that respond have a local office in Metroplex counties, which consists of 12. Uh, two companies, JWS Consultants and Star Nursing, did not uh, meet that uh, criteria, so we deemed them uh, non responsive. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. <coughs> motion passes unanimously. Item number two is another bid award recommendation for bid number 2012-053. This is a bid for the remodeling of a Suite 100 at the Resource Connection. Our recommendation would be toward the low bidder, Alpha Building Corporation, amount of $127,192. If this is approved, we're seeking contract approval and acceptance of the payment and the performance bond. This comes out of their funds, doesn't it? Yes, right. yes sir. Hmm? Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Our third and last item is another bid award recommendation for bid number 2012-059. This is our annual contract for road flares for use by the Sheriff's Department. Recommendation toward a pre-enterprise basis awarding to the primary and secondary vendors is shown in the court. Okay. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Commissioner Johnson. I move approval of item 9I, 1A, and B. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Any appointments? Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to appoint Mr. Bob Johnson to the Arlington Place 2 for tax increment reinvestment zone number 4 and number 5. And I move for the approval second. of the appointment. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. You have before you the claims, including the addendum. Move of approval. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the claims, including the addendum. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Briefing items, Mr. Manius. Thank you, Your Honor. We have an item we'd like to bring to the court this morning. It's item A, which concerns a report on our county capital improvements program. Mr. Phillips is here to address the court at this time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to update the Commissioner's Corps on the progress of several facilities management construction projects. First, the 1895 Courthouse Clock Tower Rehabilitation Project. Wait, 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 wait. Where'd you get that tie? Christmas. <laughs> It's got the county courthouse, courthouse yes, on the top. Amazing. I'm going to get an orange pencil when we get the new copper on. I'm going to, it's because this is a green top now. I'll have to change it in the future. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Sorry. <clears throat> the project's going fine, and the quality of the, work is, the quality of the work is great. However, adverse weather conditions over the last 10 months will extend the project completion date until June. The Thomas S. Byrne contractual completion date is May 1st, but we've experienced 35 extra rain days and moderate to high winds thus far. Now, what high winds makes it unsafe to operate the crane um, to move materials to and from the tower, and also handling stainless steel and copper panels, even in moderate winds, makes it dangerous for the coppersmiths and the general public below the tower. The Contractors have been very cautious and safe thus far, and they'll continue to do so. I do expect we will have more uh, additional weather delay days between now and we, and we complete the project, but I do expect the project to complete in June. So that's moved from May to June now? Yes, sir. 
Moving on to the new jail project, we'll need to, need to extend the time and completion date on this project as well. Our original plan date was April 22nd. The new jail has been impacted by adverse weather conditions just as the tower, but in different ways. Back in September of 2010, when we were coming out of the ground with the building, it rained nine inches, five inches in one day. So we spent several days pumping water out of the hole in the ground. And last year, we experienced some Super Bowl weather, and it slowed us down quite a bit for all the freezing, freezing weather. Now, however, Gilbane, Pegasus, and the trade contractors have been working diligently to make up the lost six weeks of time. They've done a great job because all of the work on the inside of the building will be finished on time in April, except for the integration, the programming, and the testing of the 1,600 smoke detectors and the 60 or so smoke purge systems will not be finished until June. Now, uh, when, Gil when the construction manager completes, they'll, the uh, Tarrant County staff will go in and test the systems, and once we're satisfied they work as intended, we'll ask Bob Knowles to contact the Texas Commission on Jail Standards and give them a call and set up the official inspection time. I don't expect Bob Knowles to call the uh, Texas Commission on Jail Standards until July. And lastly, regarding the Civil Courts Building Project, the bid's open tomorrow. And I'll be back up here next month and provide you with the outcomes and the options. You anticipate that once we've opened the bids, how long is it going to take to kind of evaluate everything and be prepared to award? Uh, Judge, I think it'll take us 30 days just to get a round figure. They have to go through bid scope evaluations and reviews, and you know, we have to select the most, the lowest and responsible bidder make sure they got the financial wherewithal to perform the job that they've, the, one of the most things we run into, the most issues we run into is, is they don't include all the scope that they need to include in their number. And that has to be flushed out. And it takes, that'll take about 60 days by the time we get, get all that done, because there are about 40 trade contracts in this project. And we'll times that times two or three or four bids per trade contract. So it'll be quite an effort. And, but I will be back up here next month to give you a preliminary number. So estimated time that we might start moving ground, I would assume we could take the ground or the prep work first and get that done and maybe in, by the 1st of May be ready to move some earth? <clears throat> Generally what we'd like to do is come to back to you with a, with a guaranteed maximum price which includes all costs. And there may be some trades that we may have to put allowances on that we bid later like some of the graphics and the wayfinding and things of that nature, it may be May or June before we actually turn dirt. Now, in the past, when you said give us a guaranteed maximum price, that usually changed until you got much further along. So you're telling me that you're going to come to me in 60 days and give me a guaranteed maximum price for the whole project? Yes. On the jail, we haven't changed the guaranteed maximum price. Okay. And we, we give you all the numbers, all the general conditions, all the fees, everything up front. And if we don't have anything bid out yet, for example, in the jail, we had an allowance for the tunnel. And we put an allowance of about 300 or so thousand dollars. It came in about 250. And, but we put that in there and gave you one number what we think this project's going to come in at. And we did that for the jail and the medical examiner. And we'll be able to do that in about 60 or so days. I would just hope that we could start as soon as possible and that if we've got the groundwork and that stuff done, that since a lot of that's not going to be dependent upon what the steel is doing, yes, we sir. might start that sooner. Yes, sir. We'll look in and we'll do our best. That's all I have this morning. Are we complete with the medical examiner's building now? Yes, we are complete. We're closing out the project, and you'll see a change order uh, from additional work we had to do to meet some fire codes and things in a couple of weeks. And then the final change order will be a deductive change order of a few hundred thousand dollars on that project. And that project came in, uh, I don't have the final numbers yet, but it's about hopefully one, one and a half to two million dollars less than we thought. One other thing, I guess, I'm going to, I've got some meetings set up with uh, some of the folks that were on that committee. Ha is that committee still okay and is everybody still happy with where we are? And Civil courts? Yes. Yes. I, we are moving forward with some final design changes and they were incorporated into an addendum to the bid on the courtroom layout. I did get a confirmation from Judge Evans, David Evans, on that yesterday. And as far as I know, the committee's good. We, uh, the committee has done their job. 
They've helped us design the floor plates and the layouts and things of that nature, and they've done a good job helping us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. <coughs> That's all we have at this time, Your Honor. This time we'll recess our open session and proceed to closed session to discuss items exempted under 551.071072, 074, 076, and 087 of the Texas Government Code. <laughs>